Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we're going to have a look at starter motor solenoid. We'll be looking at the starter motor solenoid trouble causes. We'll be looking at some of the symptoms of a bad starter motor solenoid. And we will also discuss what can be done in order to prolong the service life of a starter motor solenoid. The starter motor solenoid is usually located on the starter motor. As you can see here, it is connected to the starter motor. On some vehicles, it can be located separately, but usually the starter motor solenoid is located on the starter motor. And uh, the function is, it has mechanical activity and electrical activity as well. When you look at here, there is a terminal 50 that is connected to the ignition key. It will receive a small amount of current from the ignition switch. Then by generating magnetism, it will engage the pinion to the flywheel. That is one duty of the starter motor solenoid. Once the pinion has engaged to the flywheel, it will also connect large amount of current from the battery that is coming from terminal 30 to terminal C, and finally that will go to the starter motor. So that will make large amount of current to be supplied to the starter motor. Once the ignition key is released, it is also the duty of the starter motor solenoid return spring to disconnect large current flow to the starter motor and also return the pinion assembly as well. Now there are common issues with the starter motor solenoid. When they get into trouble, sometimes they stay stuck. Either they will stop pulling the plunger and engaging the pinion, or it will engage the pinion and stuck in there, or sometimes it will totally will not respond to the ignition key. This could be caused by it could be caused by weak battery, it could be caused by corroded wiring connection right here if there is extremely high cor corrosion at the starter motor terminals or at the battery terminals or it could be caused by a faulty solenoid itself. Now what can shorten the life of a starter solenoid? Well, the number one thing that shortens the starter motor solenoid life is overheating. If you frequently start your vehicle, if you frequently crank your vehicle, and if you crank your car for very long time, that will cause excessive heat to build up in here. That excessive heat will cause the starter motor to fail. If repeated cranking is done, it will cause overheating. The current that is passing through the starter motor solenoid coils will generate heat. So if you continuously crank your engine for longer period, that will cause overheating. That overheating will lead to insulation failure, and finally, it will lead to solenoid failure. And the other thing that can cause overheat is if there is poor ventilation. Sometimes on some models, starter motors are placed in a very restricted space. That will cause poor ventilation, and poor ventilation will not dissipate heat from the solenoid, and that will also lead to overheating. So the number one cause for starter motor solenoid failure is overheating. The other thing that can shorten the life of a starter motor solenoid is corrosion. Corroded connections and corroded internal parts of the starter motor can also shorten the life of a starter motor solenoid. Moisture and contaminants can corrode contacts in the solenoid switch and also it can corrode terminals that are supplying electricity to the starter motor solenoid. So corrosion is another cause of a starter solenoid failure. The other thing that can lead to a starter solenoid failure is excessive current draw from the starter motor. If the starter motor is having resistance to rotate, for example, that can lead to excessive current flow. Excessive current draw through the solenoid switch can also lead to solenoid switch failure. If you have recently undergone starter motor repair and if you have repaired the, if you have used poor quality parts for the starter motor overhauling, that can also lead to shorter life of the starter motor solenoid. So anytime you replace a starter motor solenoid, make sure that you are using a high quality parts. Anytime you undergo repair of the starter motor also, make sure that you are using high quality parts. Other things that can lead to starter solenoid failure are incorrect installation. After maintenance, if the parts are not installed correctly, that can shorten the life of the starter motor solenoid. Dirt and debris, if there is dirt and debris accumulated on the starter motor or inside the starter motor as well, that can also lead to premature failure. Lack of proper maintenance and uh, extreme weather 
if the starter motor is exposed to extreme weather, for example, if it is used outdoor and exposed to extreme temperature, if it is exposed to freezing cold, or if it is exposed to scorching heat, that will also reduce the performance and lifespan of the starter motor solenoid. Now, how can we care for a starter motor solenoid so that we can have a good performance and long-lasting performance? There are some things that you can do. The number one thing you can do in order to care for a starter motor solenoid is to avoid overloading the starter motor. Avoid long cranking. If repeated cranking is needed, make sure that you give the starter motor solenoid a break. So crank for a while, then break, wait for a while so that the entire assembly will cool down. Then if another cranking is required, you do that after a while. Otherwise, if continuously, if you crank the starter motor continuously for long seconds, that can cause overheating. That can cause insulation failure within the solenoid, and that will cause an imminent failure of the starter motor solenoid assembly. The other thing that you can do is keep it clean. Have the starter motor solenoid inspected regularly and uh, clean the terminals and make it free from debris and other contaminants and uh, protect them from extreme temperature. If it, if it is used outdoor, have it covered and have the engine covered as well. If you have to re replace some components of the starter motor and always make sure that you are using original spare part and make sure you are using high quality parts that will, will help to increase the lifespan of the starter motor solenoid. And every time you undergo repair, make sure that the electrical connections are done properly and make sure that there are no corrosion or other form of uh, debris and dirt preventing electrical flow. And finally, use correct voltage for the designated starter motor. For example, this starter motor is a 12 volt starter motor. It should always be supplied with 12 volt battery supply. There are other starter motors that are designed for a 24 volt system. So you have to supply the starter motor with the correct voltage. Make sure that the electrical connection is nice as well. Now there are some symptoms. If the starter motor solenoid fails, there are always some symptoms. Let's have a look at some of the symptoms. For example, if you hear only a clicking sound, if you hear clicking sound but no action from the starter motor, that could be an indication of bad solenoid switch. If the solenoid is not pulling the plunger to the maximum and that the electrical maximum electric flow happens between terminal 30 and terminal C, it will only click. So that very weak clicking is an indication of a bad starter motor solenoid. There are cases when you turn the ignition key to the start position and you hear no sound. That is also another symptom of bad starter motor solenoid. The other symptom of bad starter motor solenoid is slow cranking. If the pinion engages with the flywheel, it has to undergo normal crank with a normal cranking speed. But if there is a problem with the connection here, if there is a problem with the contact, that will be very slow crank. So slow crank is another symptom of bad solenoid switch. If you see smoke coming out of the starter motor solenoid, if there is a shorted out circuit in here, for example, it will smoke and you will also happen to have a burning smell coming out of the starter motor. That is an indication of a bad starter motor solenoid. So smoke or burning smell is also another symptom of bad starter motor solenoid. If there is intermittent starting, if the starter motor engages one time, and the next time you start it, it doesn't engage. If there is an intermittent engage and disengage of uh, the starter motor, that could be caused by a faulty solenoid as well. So that is another symptom of a bad starter motor solenoid. If the starter motor runs continuously after the ignition switch is released, once the ignition key is released, the starter motor solenoid it has to disengage the pinion from the flywheel, and then the starter motor should stop spinning. But if it continues to spin, it indicates there is a problem with the solenoid switch. For example, if the contacts that are melted together, that will cause continuous cranking. And if there is a problem with the return spring assembly, and if there is some build up in there and some debris dirt build up in there that can jam the solenoid switch, that can also cause the starter motor to fail.
The other thing that can be an indication of a bad starter motor solenoid is quickly drained battery. If battery drains quickly, if there is a short circuit in the solenoid switch or somewhere in the starter motor, if there is a short circuit, that will cause large current draw from the battery and that will lead to gradual battery drain. So if there is excessive battery drain, if battery drains quickly, that is also an indication of a bad starter motor solenoid. And if you happen to hear a grinding noise, if the starter plunger is not acting activated and if the pinion is not fully engaged to the starter motor ring gear, that will cause a grinding noise. So if there is weak magnetism in here, if there is weak performing uh, starter motor solenoid, you happen to hear a grinding noise. That is also another indication of bad starter motor solenoid. And finally, on some model vehicles, there is an indicator on the dashboard indicating something wrong with the engine. That could be an indication of a faulty starter solenoid. So there are vehicles with a dashboard warning light. If there is if the warning light is activated, it could indicate a bad solenoid switch. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this video. We have covered function of the starter motor solenoid, symptoms of a bad starter motor solenoid, and how to care for uh, the starter motor solenoid. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new here, do consider subscribing and turn on notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.